we are live. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. 25th of March, and we're just going to share into a few groups before we get started tonight. Uh, but we've got a cracking, cracking, um, absolutely belting story to tell you tonight. Because tonight, on the 25th of March, the news that happened on this day is Richard the Lionheart gets shot by a bolt. Um, Longshanks, or Edward Longshanks, is stopped at Cambridge. Robert the Bruce becomes the King of Scotland. And um, so does also, there's another King of Scotland today whose name is James. James II becomes the King of Scotland today as well, on this day in history. And we're just going to share into a few more groups and then we're going to get started. But we've got a few... Um, props tonight. Good evening Trish Willits, lovely to see you. We've got a few props tonight and the props that we have is this, a frying pan. Okay, yes, a frying pan. We then have um, a hammer, okay, a hammer and then we have three almonds, okay, so three almonds. So good evening, lovely to see you all. Lovely to see you all. So, um, I that's about as many as I can share into for now. So, if you guys want to share this, share it down into your pages. Um, just down the bottom left-hand corner, down there, you just press share on your page, and it should share it to people. So, evening, Pete Johnson. So, we're going to get started. We're going to get started. What we're going to do is Richard the Lionheart. He is up first. Richard the Lionheart. Um, we know about Richard. So... On this day, 25th of March, with me frying pan, okay, Richard the Lionheart has laid siege to a castle in France, all right? They've told him that there is some treasure in France. They've told him that there's some treasure there. So he's laid siege to the castle. Nothing's going in, nothing's coming out, all right? But what Richard is doing, okay, is... Richard is like, come on, let me in, you pesky French. And the French people are on the walls of the castle. And they're waving their pots and pans at him. They're waving their pans at him. And there's a little French kid who is waving a frying pan at Richard the Lionheart. A little, tiny little French kid is waving a frying pan at Richard the Lionheart. And so what happens is... Richard's like, oh, I've had enough of these little blooming French kids. And the little French kids there going, you know, Keller, Etiel, um, Bonjour, Orangina, Tournée Gorge, Tournée Adroit. That's about the level of my French, but he's waving his frying pan. What happens is Richard the Lionheart has enough of this little kid. He's like, I'm not having this. Goes up, little kid puts the frying pan down, takes the frying pan, puts it down, pulls out his crossbow. Boodoo! Thud straight in Richard's shoulder. And Richard, okay, is like, oh, the little bugger. He shot me in the shoulder. Goes back, gets off his horse. He's got his crossbow through his shoulder. And of course, medieval technology wasn't as good as it is these days. And um, dies nine days later, did he? Serves him right, blooming idiot. Yeah? Goes to show. Never, if someone's waving a frying pan at you, whether it be the wife or the husband, Never get into an argument with them. Good evening, Peggy Finch. <laughs> Lovely to see you, darling. Anyway, next fact, and that was 823 years ago today. Evening, Kieran Goff. Good to see you, sir. Next fact today. King Edward I of England, a.k.a. Longshanks, a.k.a. the Hammer of the Scots. That's why I got my hammer today. All right. He's checked into Cambridge Castle, okay, for a weekend break on this day. And do not believe everything you saw in Braveheart, okay, about Edward I. Made for a blooming good film, but not completely factually accurate, okay. Uh, next one we got today is Robert the Bruce, 25th of March, 1308. Robert the Bruce becomes Robert I of Scotland. Now, I've got a pal, and his name is Robert Bruce, okay, and Robert Bruce is over in Smethwick, right, Robert, uh, in Smethwick in Birmingham. And Robert is a West Bromwich Albion fan, okay, up the baggies, boing, boing. And so, Robert, uh, this is for you. If Robert had a pound every time somebody added a the into his name, he'd be a very, very rich man by now. Okay, 
Talking about Robert the Bruce, there is a new film out, okay? It's called Robert the Bruce. The film is actually called Robert the Bruce. And they're marketing it as Braveheart 2. They're marketing it as Braveheart 2, okay? Now, the interesting thing about marketing this film as Braveheart 2, okay, there is a YouTube clip. Hello, Karen Foster. There is a YouTube clip. You have, guys, you have to see this YouTube clip. Gap Proudy! Hello, <laughs> lads. You have to see this YouTube clip. These are almonds, okay? So you go onto YouTube afterwards. I'll put a link into it. Go onto YouTube. Put in the film Robert the Bruce, okay? And what you will find is if you use YouTube and have the translation on there, there is a bit in it where they actually say, and I quote this, is that I, I was crying with laughter when I heard this line. There is a bit in it where they actually say, any man who brings me the head of Armand's abuse <laughs> will get 50 gold pieces. So any man who brings me the head of Armand abuse. God bless you, YouTube. You're absolutely belting for your little clips and what have you. Good evening, Creamer. Um, next thing, James the James II became the King of Scotland on this day in history. Also on the 25th of March 1437. So you've got two Scottish kings on this day. You've got Richard the Lionheart gets shot by a crossbow from a kid who's waving a frying pan. You've got anybody who brings me the head of almond abuse on this day. And you've got Longshanks, the, the hammer of the Scots on this day. Um, those are the facts and knowledge about this day. What is also factual and knowledge about this day today is it is the day of the ascension. And the ascension is when the angel Gabriel come down to Mary and said, Mary, don't worry, you're going to have a child in nine months time on this day. Now, we've got a bit of doom and gloom about us at this moment in time. So nine months time on this very day is Christmas Day. So Merry Christmas to you all. <laughs> OK, I know it's a bit sunny outside. Merry Christmas to you all. Those are the facts of the day. Hope you share them with your friends and I hope you've enjoyed today's frying pan, today's hammer of the Scots and somebody bring me the head of almond abuse and I'll give you 50 gold coins. God bless you, my child. If you thought this is funny today, share it with your friends. Deep fat fries, just a bit of light-hearted humour in the evening. That's all to, to, to spread the day. We're going to upload the clip now on YouTube. And uh, if you want to check in for tomorrow's... Uh, yes, the Annunciation, Karen Jane. If you want to check into tomorrow's clip. The Annunciation, thank you very much, Steve Phillips. The Annunciation is with regards to um, Gabriel appearing to Angel. Oh, Jackie Caffrey, we're just signing off. But you can watch it afterwards. I'll upload it in a minute. And... Um, yeah, it, uh, and, and there's a famous painting by Frere Angelico and it's in an Italian monastery. And uh, am I OK? Of course I'm OK, Emma. Of course I'm OK. Top of the morning to you. Um, and that's today's facts of the day. Check them out. Go on the Deep Fat Fryer page on Facebook. It's also on Instagram. It's also on YouTube. You can watch other videos and just a bit of lighthearted humour, ladies and gentlemen. Just a bit of lighthearted humour uh, in these times that we're in. All right. God bless you all. And don't forget, it's nine months till Christmas Day. Bye now.